And then finally, in my final five minutes, I want to leave you with three steps to get wealthy. There are only three steps to get wealthy, and these steps can be repeated by anybody in this room. Are you ready? One, you have to create dry powder. You create dry powder one of two ways. You either do it like Olivia and I did and get ridiculously focused on cutting expenses. If you heard our story at all, you know we went from spending every single penny we ever had to spending 50% of our take-home pay over about a 12 to 15 month period. That creates dry powder. I generally don't recommend, it's not fun, you look like a miser, it's, it's not fun, but that's what I did and I can't take it back. Or two, you create more income. A lot more fun. Side hustles, whether it's following what all these great speakers will do, there's lots of ways to increase your income. Or you can do both. I have this thing called needs versus wants. If you want to do me a favor and you want to take the next step with you and your family, this is a family exercise. Go look at however you pay your bills, credit cards, debit cards, checks, whatever, cat, whatever it is. Go back and look at the last 90 days and sit down with your loved one and do a needs versus want assessment. Write an N for a need and a W for a want and then do the math. That's how we cut our expenses 50% is we got really, really focused on that. So again, step one of getting wealthy is create dry powder. Step two, you need to become elite at something. I chose to come elite back in 2001 in 93703, the Mayfair District, three or four bedroom houses, two baths, uh, one story, two car garage. I looked at my buy box every day for three years. Fresno is a massive city. I looked at one one hundredth or one two hundredth of Fresno for three and a half years. By month six or seven in that market, I could have out-talked any real estate agent, any broker, anyone, because that's all I looked at for three and a half years. I don't care what you want to become a lead at. I'm obviously started single family homes. If you want to do multifamily, great. You want to do retail, great. Shoot, if you want to do crypto, go nuts. Whatever your thing is, become elite. Where I see most people go wrong creating wealth is you think you can do, you're a dabbler. Like I'm going to do a little of this, a little of that, the shiny object syndrome. In the environment we are going into, you must focus on elite. You must become unbalanced. Right, Most of us, like myself, had a full-time job. I was doing 60 hours a week before I included travel time, which, again, if you know my story, I hate. But I was 60 hours before travel, and then I still found time every single day, most of the time, multiple times a day, to look at my buy box. you got to become elite at something. And then three, time. It takes a decade to build wealth. You need to own the asset. You need to let inflation be your friend. You can't lose it, right? How many people came to some aspect of real estate in the last three years because you thought it was easy? If you've heard, you heard me talk on one rental at a time, I've had this heartburn around Airbnb. I think Airbnb is an amazing business if the asset is correct. I think there were too many gurus and these other folks out there preaching how easy it was and making fun of long-term buy and hold. Believe me, folks, I got receipts of folks telling me how much of a moron I was because I was only making 250 bucks a month cash flow and they were netting 1500 Well, let's talk now, motherfucker. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, you gotta be able to hold the asset for 10 years. So getting wealthy is three steps. You guys ready? One, you have to build dry powder. Cut your expenses or increase revenue or do both. Two, become elite at whatever fires you up. Because when you are elite, you see things that others don't see. You see other opportunities that people don't see. And you can do deals. And then third, if you're willing to do that for 10 years, you will be wealthy. Thank you, folks. That is one rental at a time. Take care. <laughs>